Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and testing the Factian N95 respirators. These respirators are made in China and as you can see from the listing they come in a pack of 10. They are also currently on sale. They have a 4.3 out of 5 rating with over 10,000 reviews. These are being sold by the brand Fangtian, but according to the NIOSH approved N95 list, these are manufactured by Shunhu Fangtian Industries. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. So here is how they look. It does come with all of the N95 requirements, which are the manufacturer, the model, NIOSH, and N95 stamp with the TC approval number and the lot number. A plastic nose wire that is outside of the respirator, which personally is not my favorite, but it also comes with a nose foam. The material for both the inside and outside is very rough. The respirator is also very thin. These respirators also come with a four ribbed headband, which personally is not my favorite. I don't feel like these are comfortable and they do tend to be a little scratchy. So let's go ahead and try on this respirator. I'm going to flatten out the nose wire. The nose wire actually seems pretty sturdy. It does have a bit of a smell. Um, I believe it's just probably the glue from the nose foam, so it's nothing too crazy. I am getting quite a bit of collapse on these, so they might not be the most breathable, but we're gonna see how they test. In terms of the fit or sizing, I would say these are maybe like a small medium because they actually do fit my face properly. Like I mentioned about the the headbands, they are digging on the side of the face. The nose foam is not the best quality, so I am getting some discomfort on the bridge of my nose. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration and the breathability. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot milk glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask or respirator is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 98.91% with a pressure drop of 10.6 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.94 and a pressure drop of 11.1 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.97 with a pressure drop of 11.4. So we're back now, and as you guys saw from the TSI testing, they tested pretty well for both filtration and pressure drop. When it comes to the fit, this, these actually fit my face properly. So like I said, they, they are like a small medium, but the material was just very rough, and I, like I mentioned, the nose foam was very itchy, and it wasn't comfortable. The bands were also digging into my face. Overall, these aren't as high quality as other respirators that we've tested before. There's definitely some room for improvement. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask I should test next or any other content you would like to see on our channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in our description box like our website which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.